Hey everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial on Cartesian planes. So in our last video lecture, we discussed about Cartesian planes, we discussed about Cartesian coordinates, and we discussed about uh, quadrants. So in this lecture, we'll solve some problems where we'll try to plot these points in the Cartesian plane. The first point is 5 comma 0. Let's say that this is our point P. So the coordinates of point P, the coordinates of point P are 5 comma 0, where this 5 tells you about the abscissa and this 0 tells you about the ordinate. That is, ordinate means that it is the story on the y-axis and this is the story on the x-axis. Okay. Now, in our graph, for our discussion, each unit is equal to two blocks. So, two blocks, we have taken two blocks equal to one unit. In your examination, you'll be asked in the terms of centimeters or inches. But for our discussion, we are taking two blocks is equal to one unit. So, one block, two block is equal to one unit. And the two blocks, and the one unit. Okay. Now, abscissa in this case is five. Okay, so abscissa in this case is 5, that is you have to count 5 units on the x-axis. So 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 unit, 4 unit and 5 unit. So that comes here. Okay, now if, if 5 comes here, let's take the red color. If 5 comes here and now the ordinate that is equal to 0 unit, zero unit in this case means that you have to count zero unit on the y-axis. So it means that you don't have to count anything because zero, you cannot count zero. So that is here only. So this five comma zero means that it's actually talking about this point five because we know that on the x-axis, the ordinate is zero. And similarly on the y-axis, your abscissa is zero, okay? so. This 5 comma 0 is actually here, where this is talking about the x-axis, the number of units on the x-axis, and this talks about the number of units on the y-axis. Since this is 0, it means that this point is actually, this point P is actually on the x-axis itself. Okay. The next point is 0 comma 5, right? So 0 comma 5. So this is the point P, the coordinates are 0 comma 5. It means that this 0 is talking about the x-axis, this 5 is talking about the y-axis, okay? So on the x-axis, you have to count 0 units. It means that you don't have to count anything. Now, 5 tells you about that you have to count 5 units on the y-axis. So count 5 units on the y-axis. So this point comes here, right? This points come here. Now 0, 0,5 means that it is actually talking about a point that is on the y-axis and which is 5 units away from the x-axis in the positive direction. So this is 0, 0,5. 0 means 0 units on the x-axis and 5 means 5 units on the y-axis. This is a point P. Now in the third case we have 2,5. So we have 2 comma 5. Now this tells us about the x-axis. This tells us about the y-axis. 2 comma 5 means that you have to travel 2 units on the x-axis. That comes here. And you have to travel 5 units on the y-axis. So from this point 2, you have to travel 5 units towards the y-axis. So 1 unit, 2 units, 3 units, 4 units and 5 units. That's here. Right? So this is, if you want to connect this, these points, it's actually like this. First, we count 2 units on the x-axis and from this 2 units, from this point, you count 5 units from the this on the y-axis. That is this point. This is the point 2, comma, 5. In this one, we have 5, 2. 
So in the case of 5 comma 2, this tells you about the x axis and this tells you about the y axis. Okay. So on the x axis, we have to travel 5 units. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 units. And from this point 5, you have to travel 2 units towards on the y axis. So 1 unit and 2 unit. So this comes here. Okay. So if you want to connect this. This is the point 5 comma 2. In the next case, we have minus 3 comma 5. Minus 3 comma 5. So minus 3 comma 5. Okay. So this tells us about the x axis. Now, you know, if you see this number minus 3, this minus 3 is actually talking about on the negative direction of the x axis. And this 5 tells you about the y axis and this is positive. Therefore, we are talking about this positive side of the y axis. Okay. So minus 3 means that in the negative, negative direction, you have to travel 3 units. 1 unit, 2 units and 3 units. So we are here. And now we have to travel 5 units on the y axis. So from this point, travel 5 units in the direction of the y axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This comes here. So if we connect it, it's something like this. This is minus 3 comma 5. Now if you notice, this number is of the form negative comma positive and therefore it is coming in the second quadrant. It's coming in the second quadrant, right? It's coming in the second quadrant, minus and positive. Now we have minus 3 comma minus 5, minus 3 comma minus 5. This tells you about the x axis. This ordinate tells you about the y axis. Now, your x is minus 3 and your y is also minus 5. Okay. It means that the negative direction of the x axis minus 3, the negative direction of the y axis minus 5. So, in the negative direction of the x axis, you have to travel 3 units 1, 2, and 3 units. And from this minus 3 point, you have to travel 5 units in the negative direction of the y axis. So it comes here. So if you connect this, this is like this. So this is minus 3 comma minus 5. Now if you notice, this is this coordinate is of the form this point P has a coordinates as negative comma negative. That's why it is coming in the third quadrant. Can you see here? In the previous one, that is in this case, our point, this coordinate point was coming in the second coordinate, but here it is in the third quadrant. Okay. Now we have five comma minus three. In this case of 5 comma minus 3, it's actually talking about the positive direction of the x axis and this is talking about the negative direction, negative direction of the y axis. Okay, so in the positive direction of the x axis, you have to travel 5 units. So that comes here. And from this point 5, you have to travel 3 units in the negative direction of y axis. So that comes here. So if you connect this, so this is the point 5 comma minus 3. Now if you notice, this is in the fourth quadrant and why it's in the fourth quadrant because this point P has a coordinates as positive comma minus, positive comma minus. 
So since this is plus comma minus, therefore it is coming in the fourth quadrant. Remember, uh, remember, first quadrant is positive comma positive. The second quadrant is negative comma positive. The third quadrant is negative comma negative, and the fourth quadrant is positive comma negative. Okay. The last one is six comma six comma one. So six comma one is again positive comma positive. It means that it will come in the first quadrant. So this tells you about the positive direction of the x-axis, and this tells you about the positive direction in the y-axis. So you have to travel six units in the positive direction of the y-axis that comes here. And from this point, you have to travel one unit in the positive direction of the y-axis that comes here. So if you connect this, you'll get this point P that is six comma one and it comes in the first quadrant.